I was asked, what was the decisive moment where you decided to become Muslim? What was the thing that, uh, when you have the, the, the change, that moment, that pivotal moment? And I wrote about this in my book, Journal of a New Muslim. Basically, one night after coming home uh, from a party, I had a strange, vivid dream. And I was at a party in a house and it was very, very dark. And if you know what a vivid dream is like, you can't really tell the difference between reality and, and truth, okay? And I think it was it was not a good day. I remember I, like, I, I wasn't happy. I was not happy at all and I was just upset. And you have to understand the background of what's been happening for a few years before that event was that I was in depression. I was just searching for my soul, to be honest. And I remember driving home that day and I was just thinking so many things and getting home i was so tired i just laid and i think i passed out right away and i had this dream and it was so weird because like i went to sleep and then like i woke up in the morning but anyway i had this dream and i was in a it was dark it was very dark and i was in this house and everyone was you know partying and i was walking on a hallway it was like a narrow hallway and there was this girl and there was a moment obviously between her and i <laughs> you can read about it but as i got close to her she, she took a knife from her pocket and stabbed me and it hurt subhanallah so much and i was walking i felt i was getting dizzy because the stab was fatal and as soon as i was walking like against the walls and just bumping through people and i opened the door in the backyard and then i looked in the sky just automatically just look in the sky and you have to understand this was a like a very very vivid dream couldn't tell the difference between truth, between reality, between sleep. And it was so powerful. When I looked up in the sky, I saw this light, you know, and it was like, it was like calling me. And, and my soul did go, like it left, you know, it was going towards the light and I could see it. You know, it's like, I can't describe, you know, I've tried to describe it in the book as well as I could this event, but that was the event that really pushed me to take my Shahada. And I woke up and I remember, you know, you can, inshallah, read in the book what happened after, but it was so powerful. And of course, I don't use my dream as like a proof for Islam or something. It was just, it was my experience. I know some people say, oh, the dreams don't really matter. It was just my experience. But in the background, I was not just like, I just had a dream, right? There was so much happening for years in my life, pushing me towards something that I, I was trying to run away from even though I wanted it. I was looking for it, but I was just not able to commit. Like many people in this world, they want the truth. They're looking, they're hungry to find what, where their soul belongs, but the dunya is pulling them, the dunya. And that's what I think, what I interpreted from the party and the, it was, it was the dunya that was pulling me back. But Allah decided to, to pull me to him.